Hello and welcome to part one of a 10 part tutorial video series with me Tom Cosm. We're going to be focusing on uh, vocal processing, fun effects we can do with vocals. We're not going to talk about mastering or how to clean them up or anything, we're going to talk about real crazy glitched out things you can do with vocals that I, I think are pretty cool. Uh, the first one today we're going to do a uh, very simple kind of gated, rhythmical gated effect. Um, you'll hear it in a lot of trance music. You basically take a vocal sample or you can use any sample if you like and uh, we're going to gate it rhythmically. We're going to do this a couple of different ways to give you an idea of how uh, different approaches we can take to get this effect. So first thing we need to do is open up my ins and outputs. So I push command and option I there to bring up my, my routing options over here. You can see we've got audio in um, the audio from from my microphone. You can see we've got a level, so I'm just going to simply record this. Oh, just before I do, here's a very quick drum clip. You see, we've just got an impulse there. This is just as a reference point, so we, uh, you know, so we can can do it in time to something. So I'll just keep that playing, and you notice that because I have this uh, audio um, track armed, you'll notice these uh, record buttons and these clip slots are now ready to go. So I just have to click one of these, and it will record a, a vocal. Sample. So let's just do that very quickly. You notice I've got it to monitor off because I don't want it to double up. I'm just going to do a stupid sound here. There we go. There we go. Very cool. So I'm happy with that. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. The most simplest way is to actually automate it with something. So what we can do is we can load in any uh, audio effect which has some kind of volume control. You could use a compressor or whatever. I'm just going to use a limiter, uh, sorry, a utility. Everything's up. Not alphabetical. Where are we here? Where's my utility? Okay, so just a simple utility. I've just double clicked that, added it to this audio track. And now if we click on this gain knob, we've selected this gain knob, we can actually open up the clip by double clicking. And if we click on the envelopes button down here, it'll bring up our envelopes view. I'm just going to close this info view here. You notice we have these envelopes. You notice this line is now uh, set. It's now changing the last parameter that we touched, which was, of course, the gain of the utility. Remember, you can go in here and you can change the, change the different... Um, parameters if you want to change a different if you want the line to affect something up but we want the gain so one simple way is we can just go through this we can just select an area of the audio and we can drag this line down so you see how it creates four points for us so now that's created a gap of silence so let's have a quick look like so well it's not complete silence i think it goes down to what does it go down to it goes down to negative 35 good enough and now what we can do is we can select that area where we had that where we uh, created that dip and we can duplicate that by command D, like so. So that's just effectively uh, opening and closing that gain for us. Very cool. I'm just going to control Z and go back. Let's make these shorter. So I'm going to zoom right in, bring that back up, and we want it to be, let's say, here. So let's drag this down like so, drag this across, and let's duplicate that across many times. Still, lots and lots and lots and lots. And of course, we can bring 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 um, bring some of these gaps out if we want an even more cool effect. Very cool. I'm just going to duplicate that. I think that would be quite cool if we put that an octave up as well, so we have two of them playing. It could be quite fun. And let's transpose it. Remember, if we click on the transpose, this is now affecting the pitch. So let's let's bring that an octave down like that. So the pitch is going to pitch down. And just for fun, uh, we change this mode. We'll change it to something else. Let's change it to tones mode because beats mode doesn't handle kind of pitching down very well. <laughs> Very cool. So that's one way to do it. I'm just going to delete that second one. We don't need that. Got a bit carried away. So that's one way of doing it. Now, the other way I'm going to show you is uh, I'm just going to remove this utility. We don't want it anymore. Is what we can do is we can create a new MIDI track. So Command Shift T, or we can go create MIDI track up the top. Uh, we'll call this Gate. Just rename it. What we can do here is we can load in a synthesizer, for example, an operator. Now, if we play some notes there. See how it's uh, a very solid note. That's all we need. We just we're basically not going to use this as an audio output. We're going to use this as a uh, set of instructions to send to the gate, 
which we're going to add onto this audio track. So let's do that now. Let's load in a gate onto this audio track. So a gate, of course, will cut audio which is below a certain level or below the threshold. What we can do is we can insert a MIDI clip here. Uh, let's put in some notes. So I'm just going to put in some notes here. Where did that one come from? Like so. Might as well do the, do the whole lot. Like that. So now this will play out. But that's not what we want. We don't actually want the sound to go out, so we're going to send the audio to sends only. So that's now not going to play any audio. But now when we open up this audio track, we can turn on the side chaining part of the gate. That's this little triangle here. So we can turn the side chain on. It's basically saying, I want an input from somewhere. So let's take the input from that gate like so. And let's have a listen. Just, just like that. So now we can actually go into this gate and we can create different patterns here uh, with our clips. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's just add in, let's add in another clip here. A bit of variation. Let's make it like this and do some short little notes. Copy those across. So you can see, you can kind of create your own little presets with these with these clips. You can have all, all the different kind of patterns you want. Let's play that one. Make these shorter. Very cool. Um, I'm just going to quickly put a vocoder on that because I think it would sound cool. We'll just put it on, uh, put it on pitch tracking mode. Put it before the game. Very cool. Now one other one little tip I'll show you is a fun thing you can do is let's just get rid of those ins and outs. So if I create two clips like so, this clip I'm simply going to have a note and this clip I'm not going to have a note. We can actually select both the clips, open up our launch settings over here, give them a follow action, set this really, really short, the lowest increment you possibly can, and just choose any. Now that's just going to randomly gate it for us. <laughs> We can put, let's put, put some quick little notes in here like this as well. Make sure we set this to any as well. Very cool. So that's the whole concept of a gate. Again, this is really good if you actually do have live vocals or something like that, or you can use it with guitars or, or any instrument, your saxophone or the, I don't know, ocarina or whatever the hell you play. Um, yeah, you can use this and you can al al align your presets up like this. So, so we could, you know, we could call this, you know, gate one, etc. And um, yeah, great for playing live. Just watch your feedback and have lots of fun and tune into part two. Cool. Thanks, TomCosm.com.